Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Matic. Matic continues to respect the resistance area. So on the Matic chart, I have no bullish, let's say bullish setup or anything here at the moment. Um, this chart definitely still needs to prove itself. We are in this local downtrend that started in March and I'm tracking the decline as a WXY structure as explained in the last videos. We have a wave W from the March high to the low in, what was that, in April. Then we have this X wave, which is sort of a sideways move. And then the Y wave to the downside, W, X, Y. And in the Y wave, we're tracking an A, B, C structure. And here it seems likely that the C wave actually extends a little bit lower because the C wave is normally a five wave move and we only have three waves down. So that's why I haven't got, you know, um, I haven't got anything clearly bullish here yet. It would need to prove it first, also due to the, you know, the failure of the failure to act on several bullish structures in in recent months. Though Matic has proven to be a weak chart, the next support level to the downside would be around 32 cents, so just below the Monday low. And then we've got the 20. Let me just double check that. Yeah, 32, and then just below that 31 cents, which is the June 22 low. So at the moment, as long as we stay below resistance, which is defined between 46 and 41 cents, um, there is nothing clearly bullish. We also can track this trend line here, which has three, four, five touch points. So it's worth you know, focusing on that one as well, just to pay attention to it, to this trend line, um, which is a descending trend line and keeps the local trend clearly down. In addition to the resistance area, which is the Fibonacci resistance, which is based on the length of the internal third wave to the downside. And I'm adding the, or I've added the 38.2 retracement, the 50% retracement, and the 61.8 retracement, um, which is a resistance area relevant for a wave four as a diagonal pattern. Here, the internal fourth wave, yeah. Um, which actually could be a five wave move the way it's looking like. But bear in mind, a fourth wave can turn into a triangle um, can take quite complex patterns. Either way, at the moment, the market is in resistance, haven't broken it, haven't even broken the trend line. So yeah, I still, I still don't have a clearly bullish setup here. I would need to see the resistance area break first. At the same time, I believe we are quite close to a low. So necessarily shorting is also not the best option here, unless you really want to try to short the fifth wave down off wave C off Y of two. Yeah. But bear in mind, the white count is still a bullish scenario that's technically valid as long as the June 22 low is holding at 31 cents. But as already mentioned in the last updates, the yellow wave count has become far more likely just due to the deep correction that Medic has seen over recent months. And in this scenario, we could see an ABC corrective rally into the upper resistance area, which is relevant for the larger degree wave four, defined between 56 cents and 78 cents in case we break above the trend line. But first I wanna see that. And then maybe if the A wave is turning into a five wave move, the B wave could be a pullback to get in for a trade of the C wave. But let's be honest, I think Bitcoin is easier to trade than um, Matic. And in terms of long-term investments, I mean, yeah, you need to decide that. I mean, this chart has turned into something that is generally still a valid bullish structure, but it hasn't really done anything in the last couple of years. So if we zoom out a little bit and go to the daily chart, it's just something where I just want to see a little bit more action, right? Um, we are close to invalidation. So typical good, typically good reward to risk ratio, but the overall structure makes me question this white count. It's still valid. So wave one to the upside, wave two to the downside. But as you can see, only sideways action really with a little bit of up and down that a swing trader could capitalize on, but that's about it. There isn't really that great rally that we all wanted to see. And yeah, compared to some other altcoins, it looks quite weak. But the levels are clear. I mean, I told you what I need to see to at least get a rally started, which is a break above resistance and a break above the trend line. And then we already have the next Fibonacci area to watch as a target zone. That's the update about Matic. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment 
and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.